Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is a very unique tumbler. So we are making a galaxy leopard swirl tumbler. I know probably something you have never seen before in your life, but I am going to create it first here before your eyes. <laughs> so we are going to be doing a full wrap on the tumbler. And then we are going to, of course, add some glitter and add some leopard print to really spice up this cup. <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is I have my vinyl print that I actually purchased from the vinyl cottage. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fully wrap this tumbler in this vinyl. So what I have is a 20 ounce skinny cup from Maker Flow Crafts. I haven't done anything with my tumbler whatsoever. Literally all I've done is taken it directly out of the box, taken the plastic off it, taken the top off, and that is it. So because we're not doing any paint or anything directly onto the stainless steel, I'm not really worried about prepping and painting my cup because we are going to be doing kind of a peekaboo on top of this vinyl. So I've already cut off the white edges around my vinyl. And what you've just seen me do is measure around my cup and mark off with my scissors which pieces are going to be excess that I can use for future crafts. I absolutely hate wasting vinyl because it is not exactly the cheapest thing, but I can't help but purchase it. So if I can save a little extra vinyl for other crafts, I will definitely make sure to do so. Always measure multiple times on your cup. You'll see me do that quite a few times throughout this clip because I wanna make sure that when I get to the seam or the edge all the way around the cup that I'm not gonna have an issue where my stainless steel is going to show through. So I want to make sure that that is measured correctly before I go and wrap the tumbler. So using my cup cradle, as kind of my support and making sure that my cup doesn't roll all over my table. I'm just going to remove that back edge backing from my vinyl, just about an inch or so, inch or so and then adhere that section to the tumbler first. <clears throat> You'll notice that I then am going to go back and make sure that the vinyl goes right back around the cup to make sure that my seams will meet and they'll overlap. That way I don't run the risk of showing any of my stainless steel on my cup. Now that I feel like it's nice and straight and it'll meet up beautifully on the other side, I'm going to use both my hands and my squeegee tool that I purchased, I believe from Amazon. I will link that in the description box below as well as all of the items that I use in today's tutorial as always and any discount codes that I may have for you as well. Make sure you check those out down in the description box as well. So I'm keeping the backing on the vinyl and this is to make sure that I don't Get, in, in, get into any hairy situation. So removing the backing off the vinyl, I always end up getting it stuck to my cup cradle, getting it stuck to me, getting it stuck to the table I'm working on. So I always like to keep the backing on the vinyl on for absolutely as long as possible, that very last second. That way, if I need to pull up on my vinyl and release any air bubbles, or if I need to maybe take off the vinyl and start completely over, I'm able to do so if I keep that backing on because I can just roll that right back off the cup and the vinyl goes back on beautifully. So I know it looks like I just wrapped that cup really, really quickly, but I promise this clip was pretty long and I just sped it up for the sake of time. It takes me about 10 to 20 minutes to really wrap a cup. Um, I take my time and that is probably my best advice to you. Please, please, please take your time, take your time, take your time. This is not a race. Really try and make sure that you are being patient. Vinyl is very forgiving, but nothing is worse than when you're rushing and you rip your vinyl. So now that I have gone around the cup with my vinyl, I'm just using my X-Acto knife and cutting off the edge of the overlapped section on the seam. I'm not really worried about the seam um, as far as it not matching up and looking like one image all the way around only because I know that we're going to be doing a peekaboo and that will be covered up by spray paint. So now it's time to focus on the bottom and top edge of the cup. So on the bottom edge, we are going to use the cup edging tool, but I wanna make sure that the bottom edge is nice and smooth around the bottom. That way there's no creases in my vinyl. So I'm just going to pull the very edge of that vinyl down and around that bottom, making sure that the bottom edge is smooth and that there's no wrinkles or crinkles along the edges of my vinyl. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the top where I have a little bit more excess than I did on the bottom. And I'm going to just very tight and very taut 
pull that vinyl over the edge nice and smooth leaving no creases and push that vinyl directly into my cup that'll just make it that much easier to use my exacto knife to cut off the excess so now just going back around my cup, I did have a couple air bubbles that I did get when I was applying this vinyl. And what I'm doing is just taking my X-Acto knife and poking a very small bubble into the vinyl and pushing that out with my finger. And that just makes it nice and smooth and doesn't even look like you made any holes in that at all. So now back focusing on the top edge, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cutting the vinyl away from me with my X-Acto knife just cutting that edge. It is important you use a brand new blade for this. That way you don't run into any kind of jagged edges when you're trying to cut that vinyl off. Now for the bottom so that I don't have to cut a straight line, we're gonna use my cup edging tool, which I believe I've shown either in a previous video or definitely in one of my lives if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I absolutely love this. This is the best tool that I have ever purchased for my tumbler making. It just makes making a straight line on something curved so much easier. So just using that to cut off that bottom edge of a vinyl, whoopsie there. <laughs> I swear, I'm always dropping things when I'm crafting. Well, cup is completely wrapped. We are good to go and we will move on to the next step, which is to apply our leopard print in a swirl pattern. Okay, so I have put a couple coats of epoxy on to my cup. In the very first layer of epoxy, I did add just a little bit of glitter. I added Nookie from Peachy Olive Glitters, and that was just to give it a little extra sparkle and pizzazz, because you know, guys, that I absolutely love my glitter, so, you know, I gotta add it in where I can. So I'm just done, just a little light sanding, just any bumps and stuff, and I've just cleaned it off with some 91% rubbing alcohol. Now I'm just gonna clean off my space so that we can go ahead and move into applying the leopard print. So this leopard print is fuzzy leopard print that I purchased from Bear Trend Digi, Digi Designs. I'll link her shop in the description box below. And so we're going to be applying the leopard print in a swirl pattern. So I don't wanna use the whole sheet. I know I'm not going to need the whole sheet because we're not wrapping the cup. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just going to apply are just going to cut off, I should say, a little bit at a time. And this is just going to help me kind of not hand place them, so to speak, but kind of hand place them. So I'm gonna place them in sections and then you'll see me kind of in some sections, I will kind of pick and choose which ones I want to go where. Um, so I am still using transfer, transfer paper, but at the same time, I'm kind of picking and choosing where I want them to go. So again, we want this to be kind of a swirl pattern around the cup. I want it to swirl all the way around so that you can see on the back side, if you will, of the cup, the top of the swirl and the bottom of the swirl. So I wanted it to go kind of all the way around the cup and kind of meet on the other side so that you can see that top swirl and that bottom swirl when you're looking dead on. So obviously most of this is gonna be covered up by glitter, but I wanted to make sure that that kind of swirl pattern was present with the leopard print. So I'm just going to apply the leopard spots kind of where I feel they need to be placed. You don't have to use leopard print. You could have used stars, you could use hearts. I mean, you literally, the sky's the limit. You can use whatever you want um, when it comes to doing a peekaboo. I will say that the vinyl that I used here was a, it's, it's a removable vinyl. I don't know the brand, um, not something I would recommend only because I really did have a hard time getting this off the cup, but we'll kind of get into that kind of later in the video here. So just kind of finishing up this back section here, making sure that I have all the spots kind of where I want them. Again, you can place them however, wherever you'd like, um, no real rhyme or reason. And I feel like with leopard print, it is a very forgiving kind of design. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It needs to just look kind of random, which is what I love because then I don't have to worry about making things look absolutely perfect on the cup. I'm going to go ahead and take my cup and using this Krylon flat spray paint, spray the entire cup. My cup is completely spray painted and dry. It only took probably about 10 to 15 minutes for the flat spray paint to dry. And so now it's time to add our next layer of glitter. So what I have is I have Tack It Over and Over, which you can purchase from the craft store. It comes in a white and green bottle. And then I have a flat paintbrush and we are going to use a thin layer of Tack It to apply our glitter. So I say thin layer, so like thinner than what you'd apply when using Mod Podge. 
you want a super thin layer because this is going to be how we adhere our glitter, but you don't want any clumps. Otherwise the glitter will kind of just bounce off and not stick to the cup. So I'm then going to kind of speed up the process. We want to use either your heat gun or you can just wait about five minutes or so for the glue to almost look like it's transparent. And if you touch it with your fingertips, it'll be tacky. And that's exactly what we want because we're going to use glitter, um, the tacket method, this is called to apply some black holographic glitter to the cup. So I'm using Death by Glitter from Myasha Creations. I'll link that in description below. And we are going to completely douse this tumbler in this black glitter. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous black, especially under epoxy. It picks up so many different lights and colors, and it just really is a beautiful black under epoxy. So I'm going to put my glitter away and then I will put my bottle away and then I'm going to use my gloved hand in order to rub, rub, rub this glitter onto the cup. So what we're doing here is we are literally making the glitter super flat directly onto the cup. So I like to do this with my gloved hand. You could do it with a bare hand. I just don't like the feel of like the tackiness under my on my fingers. So I'm just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And you'll notice the difference in the kind of glittered look versus the tacket method glitter. Um, it has a very flat look, but you can see every single color that is in that glitter when you use tacket method. So this is best for like holographic glitters or um, your uh, your white translucents that really pick up different colors. It's definitely something for fine, not your chunky glitter glitters in order to use tacket method glitter application. Um, I do this every once in a while. I don't do it very often, but when I really want a cup to just look wow, that is definitely what I love to do, which is the tacket method glitter application. So now comes the daunting task of removing all of these leopard print pieces from my tumbler. So again, I would not recommend this vinyl that I use. It was a removable vinyl, but it wasn't something I've used before. I think it's just something I purchased off Amazon. So not something I'd use for peekaboo method, especially when you have glitter on top. So I would recommend either like a stencil vinyl, which is really easy to remove or using like Oracle, Oracle 651, I think it is, which is their removable vinyl. That's just much easier to pull up. This vinyl just kind of stretched and it just made it so much harder for me to get the pieces up. So it did take me quite a bit of time to get all of these pieces off of the cup. So of course I'm gonna speed up this clip so that you guys don't have to watch me weed this entire cup. But before I do so, I did want to also give you guys just a quick tip and something that I've seen in the crafting community. When it comes to doing peekaboos, if you're having a hard time seeing the vinyl um, underneath either your glitter or your paint, before you spray paint it or apply your glitter, you can use hot glue gun dots to put little dots over your stencil pieces. That way you know where to weed. It just makes it that much easier to see it so you don't have to kind of, you know, move your cup up and down in order for the light to catch it right or scratch up your cup trying to remove a piece of vinyl that isn't actually vinyl and is just paint and glitter. So I'm gonna speed up the rest of this clip so you guys don't have to watch this and then we will move on to the next part of the process. I applied one more coat of epoxy and now I'm going to create a white spot right in the middle of that cup using some flat white spray paint. So I'm going to wait for it to dry and then we're going to go and apply our alcohol inks. Okay, so we're going to use some alcohol inks. What I have down is poppy field, honeycomb, amethyst, and a crimson. And you'll see I have that sheet of paper there. I just tested some colors to kind of decide what colors I wanted to use. So I'm going in with honeycomb first. And what I'm trying to create is like a nebula look. So kind of like what you'd see or what I imagine you'd see in the in space um, and what that nebula would look like on this cup. So kind of mimicking what the vinyl looked like underneath and creating that vibrant color on top of this white spray paint. So I went in with honeycomb and then I went in with a mix of honeycomb in a poppy field and then around that edge is where I used both crimson and amethyst so again I used a piece of paper to kind of test this and that just helped me kind of decide 
which color pattern I wanted to go with. So I am using makeup pads that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. These little pads I don't recommend just because I did get a lot of cotton all over the place. Um, I couldn't find my makeup wedges, which are perfect when it comes to using and applying alcohol inks. So I had to kind of settle with these. So after I kind of applied all the colors kind of in that circular motion all around, what's in that spray bottle is actually 91% alcohol. And I'm just spraying that so that the colors start to blend and merge and kind of create different cells and colors on to the cup. So I wanted it to look natural and not so much like I just painted a bunch of circles onto this cup. So I'll go back in with my alcohol inks and my 91% alcohol just until I get the look that I want. So I really do take my time with this. Again, this is another sped up clip, obviously. But this is something that did take me quite a bit of time. I wasn't really sure what I was going for at first. So I did a little bit of some Googling onto into like what nebulas would look like in different colored ones and kind of settled on a picture that I thought I wanted to try and recreate on this cup. So now I'm taking those two darker colors, amethyst and crimson, that red and purple, and I'm just extending that so that it goes kind of along the swirl and looks purposeful. So I want it to kind of engulf the cup because the black is meant to be like the nothingness right of the space and then that nebula just kind of being out there in space with that galaxy swirl of leopard print so i take my time with this again as i said play around with it alcohol inks are meant to be fun um you really can get some very interesting looks when it comes to alcohol inks and i always like to practice on a piece of paper that's just kind of my tip that just helps me blend the colors the way i want them before i then commit to adding them to the cup So now we're gonna add some stars to the cup. So what I've done is I've just taken some flat spray paint, sprayed it into this cup, and I'm gonna use a dry bristle brush to apply my star. So I'm literally just going to flick this paint very carefully into the sections where I want it to look like there's small stars all over the cup. So I'm going to do this all the way around the cup. I'm even going to cover up a little bit of the nebula. And I like doing this method versus kind of using a paintbrush and applying them one by one, because when you do it with this method, just kind of using your bristle brush to fling the paint, so to speak, I feel like it looks more realistic and more like stars and not so much like you hand placed them. So I'm just going to, again, go all the way around the cup, kind of no real rhyme or reason where I want the stars. I just kind of want them all over the cup to kind of look more like space. And then we will go into applying our final coats of epoxy. Okay, so I've mixed up 20 mLs of epoxy and I have two glitters on the side that I'm going to pour into medicine cups. And so what I'm going to do first is I am going to apply the 20 mLs of epoxy. I just put 20 mLs because I didn't want the cup to be too epoxy ridden and have a bunch of epoxy on it that would make the glitter want to kind of move all over. So I just wanted kind of a thin enough layer that the glitter would stick, but not too thick that it would go all over. Um, so I'm just going to apply that to the cup and then I'm going to go ahead and use caviar, which is from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm going to just sprinkle that onto the darkest sections of my cup. So with caviar, caviar is like, it's a black glitter, but it has like flecks of silver and gold that I think really just tie in well to the overall look of this cup. So I'm gonna go in with caviar, and when I feel like I'm good with that, I'll then go in with pixie dust. Pixie dust is from Glitter Makes It. I have a disco discount code for them in the description and pixie dose is a much finer glitter so I am just going to kind of sprinkle that in much higher up because I want it to spread amongst the tumbler with pixie dust I don't really care where it goes necessarily um, because it's such a fine glitter it'll just look beautiful on any surface it did get a little clumpy kind of in the center of my nebula which I did want to cover with just a little bit of glitter to add some sparkle so I did go in with my gloved hand just to cover that up so I'm gonna go ahead and let this spin for a couple of hours and then go in with a flood coat and then go into my two final coats of epoxy before this cup was nice and smooth. Here's a final look at the complete and finished cup. This 
cup was such a unique and fun cup to come up with. I felt like I had so many different ideas floating in my head and I'm glad I was able to kind of get those to translate onto this galaxy inspired leopard print cup. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.